in America. And of course, all the patriots were up in their arms about it. But this came up to Bill every October, in the beginning of October, every year during the Clinton era. Every year, it was shut down. Every year, they were like, hell no, that's the most unconstitutional bill I've ever heard of. So in this way, I knew that they were going to need a reason. They were obviously going to need a reason to force this thing into action. Every time it came up, they shut it down. So when they railroaded the W into office, that was when I knew. Now, if you know the story of Dune, then you'll understand our story a little more, because Bush is like the evil emperor's son, and Obama as the good emperor's son. You know, He was here to soften us all up, and now Obama's coming to save us. Uh, so when, when the W was railroaded into office, I said, there's going to be a major terrorist attack to forward this Homeland Security Bill. And I knew that it would take about two weeks of uh, people's reaction time for the event. So I said, in the middle of September, there's going to be a major terrorist attack in 2001. I had been talking about it for a number of years because I expected it all during the Clinton era. But when the W was forced into office, I knew that would be it. So I went in just like a group of people like you, and I said, hey, there's going to be a major terrorist attack on 9-11. And I chose that date because that was the date H.W. announced the New World Order for the first time public. And I know how ritual these people are. So I chose that date just basically random, but knowing that there was a purpose to it, and saying, okay, on 9-11 there's going to be a major terrorist attack. Don't freak out. This is for your reaction. Those were my words. And when it happened, I actually had a whole line of people at my door going, how did you know? And I, I don't know how I know. I'm just following the script that I believe, that I understand. And so I'm coming to give you the rest of this story because I followed that prediction up with, well, W will be the last American president. Now, one thing I want to get over to you is how miraculous the story has been. And I think it's in the miracles of how this all falls together that, uh, that makes it really the, the true story. Because if I were just giving you this data and facts and everything and saying, well, this is just the science that I've been figuring out, it's not. I have not gone looking for any of this information. It keeps coming and finding me, and I feel like I am required to share it with you. Because when I had the 9-11 prediction, I didn't tell anyone. I told people at a party, you know. And I think I might have been able to change the world if I had said something. So I have new predictions for you, and I have continued with my predictions, and I have not been wrong yet. Uh, my latest one was public. It was on 1013. And I decided to make this one public just to test my hypothesis and make it all public. <laughs> no one seemed to notice. Uh, so I, for two years, went around talking about 1013 and explaining the significance of this to the Templars. And then on 1013, as I predicted, I didn't know what, I never know what's going to happen. And that's where I hope people will take my knowledge and apply it to a more uh, real world scenario. Because I didn't know they were going to hit the Twin Towers. I just knew they needed a terrorist attack and that they'd do it on this day. 1013, I could have put together, I could have realized that it, uh, Templar 3, 1013 is the day the Templars were all killed. In 1307, Pope Clement and King Philip came together and said, let's kill off these Templars. They're too rich and powerful. And it was on 1013 that they killed the Templars. So this is a ritual date for the Templars, and the Templars are the prefab of the Freemasons that are ruling our nation today. So I used their uh, dates to make my predictions because I'm watching them. And it wasn't simply that 1013 was just there. Uh, if you notice, the Pentagon's cornerstone was dated to 9-11, 1941. <laughs> it just happened to be hit on 9-11, 2001. And uh, I did have uh, data showing that the Twin Towers cornerstone, which was Masonically laid in both cases, uh, also was dated to 9-11. And I uh, actually just realized that Captain William Morgan, who exposed the Freemasons for the first time and was ritually murdered uh, back in the 1700s, uh, was also killed on 9-11. Uh, just a curious little connection there. Uh, so when I looked at these things, I, I was saying, okay, the, here's the date, here's the ritual date. And if I had taken it one step further and recognized the Templar co connection with the fiat currency, I could have given you a fuller projection of what was going to happen. And sure enough, on 1013, that was the day when Bernanke and Paulson pulled all the nine CEOs of all the banks together and said, you've got to sign these documents, signing over all your assets, and that's when the finances collapsed. And their headline in the 
Austin Chronicle of all places says, 1013 bigger than 9-11. And I'm like, yeah, I know, I've been saying this for two years now, you know. I was on, uh, talking with the High Priest Church of Satan, 1013. You can watch all that on, on freemantv.com. I have all of this stuff live on my websites, uh, freemantv.com or the freemanperspective.blogspot.com, and you can watch me talking about all of this. So, I start with this man, and uh, I start to understand that, the okay, there is a list. There is a list of enemies that we're going to have to deal with, and the first was the Red Scare. And this list comes from a Nazi that came over and joined NASA, and just happened to be hanging out with Walt Disney. Uh, if you know who Walt Disney is, man, you better, you, you'll start to get a good clue as to what's going on. Warner Von Braun was a Nazi scientist brought over here to help NASA get into space. He came out and said, look, the extraterrestrials are malevolent. Uh, the, the governments are trying to have a war with the extraterrestrials that are trying to visit us. Do not allow them to weaponize space. And he started the Space Preservation Treaty, which... Uh, Dennis Kucetich is, is a champion of. And they're like, you know, keep the weapons out of space. This is the whole thing. So he says, all right, what's going to happen is they're going to hit you with the Red Scare, the Cold War, and that's going to start the whole agenda of the technological advancements in the space war. Then they're going to hit you with terrorism, which is what came next. But they, you know, most people believe that the next part of the program is extraterrestrials. But that's not what Werner von Braun said. He said the next step is asteroids. And so I took this data and I watched as, uh, just currently, uh, Obama decides to couple the DOD with NASA. And this is exactly what Werner von Braun was talking about. So what they're doing now is, is coupling NASA with the DOD. They're going to retire the space shuttles. The shuttle Atlantis just launched last uh, 11th, May 11th. And the Endeavor is waiting to launch just in case the Atlantis has problems. They're going up to the Hubble Space Shuttle, and, or Space Telescope, and hoping to repair it. They're having five spacewalks in order to try and repair the, or get these new cameras, because there will not be any more space shuttles. They are retiring the Columbia Endeavor for the discovery of Atlantis. Maybe they already discovered Atlantis. I don't know. So just as Werner von Braun had been predicting, he, he was started the very first thing Obama did when he came into presidency was saying, oh, okay, we're going to couple the DOD with NASA, and we're going to start what's known as the Ares space program. And if you know Ares as the god Mars, which is the god of war, we're going into a warfare space program. And this is what they were talking about. Well, so just uh, last week, they tried and tried and tried to launch the Minotaur out of Virginia. Now, who knew we could launch rockets from Virginia? I didn't. <laughs> There's actually only been two launches, and both of them were Minotaurs as well. And what they were launching are these TechSat-3 satellites and these special uh, cubes, uh, SAT cubes, CubeSats. Uh, so there's going to be five satellites that were supposed to be launched last week, but they kept having problems with the weather, and then they needed the Virginia site to launch the Atlantis, so this whole rocket was scrubbed but they will be launching this Minotaur space-based weaponry out of Virginia sometime soon. The question comes, who is Barack Obama? <laughs> who is this guy? His name doesn't even seem to be Barack Obama, but Barry Satoro. He was asked to supply his identification, anything any one of us has to do at all times, and he couldn't do it. He supplied a faulty birth certificate without a seal, without any notification, without anything necessary on it. And so there you go. Heard the rumors about Barack Obama's citizenship? These are the facts. The Constitution requires the president to be a natural-born citizen. Obama's grandmother said she was there when Barack was born in Kenya. Obama refuses to release his original birth certificate. Instead of a birth certificate, Obama's campaign posted a certification given to those born abroad. Experts have called even that document an obvious forgery. Obama attended school in Indonesia as Barry Sotoro, when only Indonesian citizens were permitted to attend. Obama's school records list his father as Lolo Sotoro, and Obama's citizenship as Indonesia. Obama traveled to Pakistan in 1981, when it was illegal to enter as a U.S. citizen. Sixteen lawsuits and two cases before the Supreme Court now challenge Obama's citizenship. Fact.
our Constitution still matters. So when I stated that George Bush would be the last American president, this is what I meant. And I, I, I cut it a little flaky with my predictions, you know, and I, I leave them kind of esoteric. But that, that's really what I meant when I was saying W would be the last American president, because they want to do away with the Constitution. They want to do away with all of these ideas of nationalism and everything else and form the global... <laughs>